Okay, Internet. Here's the thing. If you saw this thing yesterday and you seriously fell for it and thought I was quitting social media, that means you didn't watch yesterday's video. So go watch yesterday's video. Duh. Hello Internet, it's me Marconi and today I'm doing an Ask Marconi using the hashtag Ask Marconi where you ask me stuff and then I answer it. Can you say goodnight to your number one fan in Baltimore? Good Goodnight, Zaya. Thanks for being my number one fan in Baltimore. That's a long ways away from Portland, Oregon. That's cool. What do you think about Brazil? I think that, okay, two things. The, the beaches are all nude, right? So, or, and also, Brazilian wax. One of them I like, and another one of them I do not like. Even though I've never had a Brazilian wax, I have been waxed before, and that is a bit Pain. But I think Brazil would be fun to visit. If you had to guest star on any show, what would it be? I would like to guest star on, could it be a vlog? I would like to be interviewed by Grace Helbig. How about a troublemaker on Better Call Saul in the next season? That would be kind of cool. Oh no, At Midnight would be a lot of fun, but terrifying, but a lot of, a lot of fun really terrifying though. Do you remember me? Also, could you check your DMs? It's important. Yes, I remember you. You're the, that one that sent me the DM, right? That I haven't checked yet. But I heard it's important, so I'll get right on that right away. Have you seen Paper Towns yet? No, I haven't. And I know it's out. And if you're not familiar, John Green of the Vlog Brothers wrote Fault in Our Stars and now Paper Towns and it is a movie that is out and I'm excited to see it but maybe this weekend or next week sometime but no I haven't seen it yet I'm really excited don't tell me how it ends even though I've already read the book and I know how it ends that's the best way to see the movies because the movies are so connected with the book it's really awesome go see Paper Towns if you haven't yet I dare you to beat me to it. No spoilers. Wait, I thought you said bye to social media. I mentioned that at the beginning of this video. You gotta watch yesterday's video and then you'll... Come on, don't be that like that. My theory was that nobody on Facebook is watching my videos. I don't know why. They don't seem to like me, maybe. And then, so, and I always put the link there with the thumbnail, and so I thought it would be a fun test to see how many people on Facebook actually clicked the link. And so many people did not, and I was both amused and disappointed. So that's really what it was. I was trying to see the reaction of people. I like getting a reaction, that's kind of the whole point. The moral of the story is, watch my dang videos, people on Facebook, and you won't get so bamboozled by the thumbnail. What is the most life-changing thing you've ever done? I would have to say that last weekend at the PAPS project, I ate two sandwiches from bunk a day. I live, I was, it was the best weekend ever. That totally changed my life. What is your favorite movie of all time? That is really difficult, but I'm gonna say just off the top of my head, one of my favorite movies, What About Bob? Bill Murray, come on. Uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, So I Married an Axe Murderer. Those are movies that I've watched so many times because I love them, so I guess it's maybe a three-way tie. Do you like pineapple on pizza? We live in a world where there are people that love pineapple on pizza and people that don't love pineapple on pizza. I am a person who is not a lover of the pineapple on pizza. I'm sort of a purist. I just meat. Put meat on there. Or vegetables. 
even. As long as there's some cheese, I love pizza with just pepperoni. That's, you don't have to go crazy or fancy, no hot dog wiener roll crust. But no, no, I, no pineapple please. But I'm not one of those who's, who, if somebody has pineapple pizza, I will pick the dang pineapples off there and, and, and I would eat them separately, but I just don't like them together. So pineapple on the side, if that's a thing you can do, why would you do that? What is the tweet you record? What is the tweet? What is the regret? What is the tweet you regret? I can't say. What is the tweet you regret the most? I regret all of my tweets. If if you reply to some, if you're reacting to someone and they don't react to you, you feel dumb. But when they completely ignore it and then you look on their replies and you're the only one who replied to their dumb tweet, come on, give me a. A sympathy fave star at least. I regret ever interacting with people on Twitter. Except for you. You're cool. Where do you see yourself in two to four years? What is this a job interview? Hopefully doing something fun. Oh wait, I'm doing that now. Maybe just continuing to make videos and doing fun stuff. So yeah. Well, there you go. Those are some questions that needed answering. Thanks for using the hashtag Ask Marconi. I do a Q&A video every week because it's compelling content. So you can ask me stuff and eventually I'll probably get around to answering you. Make sure and give this video a thumbs up if you liked my quality answers for today. And if you're new, make sure and subscribe because I make videos every day and you won't ever have to miss one again. Thanks for watching. I'll be back tomorrow with another glorious episode. Ta-ta for now.